what's the good part? When I was a kid at Thanksgiving, we used to hassle back and forth, my brothers and I, as to what the good part of the turkey was. Is it the drumstick? Is it the white meat? Is it the dark meat? Is it the stuffing? Is it the cranberries? Is it the mashed potatoes? Or is it the pie at the end of the meal? What's the good part? Maybe even in those days, we would have said, oh, I want something with some of the skin on it. It's been a long time since I've eaten skin on anything. What's the good part? At the end of Luke chapter 10, when Jesus is visiting the house of Martha, and her sister Mary is sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to him. Martha wants Jesus to say something to Mary. Get her busy. Get her helping. And Jesus says, Ah, oh, Martha, Mary has chosen the good part. Only a few things are necessary. Some of the manuscripts say only one. And that's what Mary has chosen. What's the good part? It's sitting at the feet of Jesus. You know, earlier in the Gospel of Luke, that's the very th same thing it says that a man that had some demons cast out was doing, sitting at the feet of Jesus. What if we lived our lives as if the good part was not the trip we're going to take or the meal we're going to have or the amusement we're going to? What if we lived our lives as if the good part was sitting at the feet of Jesus day in, day out? pondering the Gospels in the mornings and evenings, thinking about them on and off during the days we're doing our work, being prepared in our hearts to hear from the words of Jesus. You know, Sunday, Lord willing, I want to start a new sermon series called Listening to Jesus from John 14. It'll give us a chance for a few months to listen carefully, intently, and slowly to the words of Jesus, because that's the good part not only the good part in life, it's not only the good part in the universe, it's the good part in all of history. And we don't even have to go to a tiny village in Galilee to do it. We can do it right with our Bible open. May you choose, like Mary did, the good part. This is your daily devotion for Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. Seek first the kingdom of God and ask God how he wants to use you in his service. Ask God if he's taken you in a surprising direction to really ask you more of you than ever before, like I talked about Sunday. Pray for the church and pray for me. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you as you serve him.